Josephine if you're new to my channel and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get onto your cheer team. So I have done two of these videos already which I will link down below if you're interested in seeing those and they have both done very very well and I have received hundreds and hundreds of comments of girls saying that they have made the cheer team due to my video which makes me so 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 happy and I'm so thrilled about that. I'm competing with the University of Texas now and I used to cheer at Southern Methodist University and I also did high school cheerleading so I definitely have experience and have helped a lot of people so I wanted to make a new video to help you guys. And did I mention that I'm wearing my uniform? This is my uniform. I thought it was appropriate to wear it since this is a cheerleading video. But the format of this video will be me teaching you guys how to get on the team. So first it'll be me just kind of telling you what you should and shouldn't do at tryouts, what you should be expecting at tryouts, all sorts of things like that. And then after that I will be showing you guys tumbling, flyer body positions, um, how to be sharp in your arm motions, all sorts of things like that. Very, very important things you need for tryouts. Alrighty, so tryouts, they're coming up. What do you gotta do to prepare? So beforehand you should already be stretching and and maybe working on body positions if you're a flyer, which I will also show you later in the video. Just thinking about what you can contribute to the team, what is it that you can bring, because it is not an easy thing. There's definitely blood, sweat, and tears involved in it. I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, that's so dramatic, but I promise you it's not. Make sure you're prepared for that if you're going to join cheerleading. The night before tryouts, you should make sure that you are eating healthy, drinking water, and getting well rested, and maybe stretching the night before. Make sure that you arrive at least like 30 minutes beforehand. When they say the tryouts are 3 o'clock, that does not mean you show up at 3 o'clock. That means you show up 2.30, 2.45. Like, they are going to be looking at that stuff. They're going to look if you show up late. If They're going to be like, hmm, well then she's not even coming prepared. So make sure that you show up prepared, and that way you can also be stretching and meet the coaches. It'll make you look a whole lot better if you just show up early to tryouts. When you're at tryouts, just be prepared that you are going to be having to try lots of new things. If you show that you're willing to try new things and that you are having a good attitude about everything, that'll make you look really, really good as well because in cheerleading, you are going to be trying new things all the time. Like When you're at tryouts, you just need to make sure that you have a good attitude. So make sure that you are just smiley and bubbly and happy and you are volunteering to do things. So they say, hey, who's willing to call a cheer? Make sure that you're like, oh yeah, I will. That'll show them that you are willing to maybe be a captain or that you have good leading abilities. Make sure you have a loud voice inflection so don't just be like, go Longhorn. Like be confident. They're going to be looking for confidence. There are definitely times when you're going to be messing up on the football field or whatever. As long as you can get right back into it and show that you know what you're doing, that's a really important feature as well. So some things not to do are just being lazy and not having a good attitude and not smiling and not being sharp, not being bubbly. If you're just there and you're just kind of like, they're gonna be like, why are you here? And that you are hardworking, you're giving it to the best of your ability. So that is everything that I can think of that you need to know before tryouts and during tryouts. I really hope that you guys find that helpful. Just make sure you keep all those things in mind before going. I really hope it helped you. And now I'm gonna get into showing you guys what, what stretches to do, like tumbling, body positions, and all sorts of things like that. So let's just get right into that. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the stretches I do before practice to prepare myself for flying, jumps, baskets, all sorts of things like that. So hold each one for about 10 to 20 seconds. I'm obviously showing the sped up version, otherwise this video would take forever. So I do this all on one side and then I will repeat it on the left side as you will see here in a second. Now for tryouts, they're not necessarily going to say, oh, do your splits. If you don't have your splits, you're not on the team. So it might be an important thing to have and it will help you in your cheerleading career. But it is not something that is just absolutely crucial that will make or break your tryouts. And then what I do also is a bridge. This will help with tumbling. If you're a flyer, it helps with your back flexibility. So I do that and then I will roll my back out. And then that is important to do before practice as well. And always stretch your wrist before tumbling if you are tumbling. So I do the front, the back, the tops of my wrist, as you guys can see here, and I go in circular motions. And as well, if you're going to be a base or if you're doing tumbling, stretch out your arms. It is very crucial because that could cause an arm injury or a shoulder injury. I know you all bad, but just let it go. Cause I just won't stay to watch you walk alone. Now moving on to arm motions, these are very important for tryouts, you need to know these. 
So I'll be showing you several arm motions and how to be sharp and what to do with your wrist. So make sure you keep your wrist in a line. That is called breaking your wrist when you are making your wrist out of line with your arm. So this is called a T. These are called candlesticks, punch, and high V and low V. And I'm not sure the name of this one, but you'll probably need it eventually. Then you want to make sure your fists are super tight, your thumb is tucked away and it's very sharp. And see how my wrist and arm are in a line and you want to make sure it's always super tight and sharp. When you're also cleaning, you want to have a blade hand and that is very clean looking and also clap very clean as well, tight arms together. And be very sharp like I am here. They're going to be looking for that at tryout to so be super sharp and bubbly. So now I'm going to prepare you for jumps. So I always do certain stretches before I do any jump just to prepare myself and not injure myself. So you guys can see here the stretches that I do. I also do these leg kicks and I do four or five on each leg and this really helps loosen up your muscles so you can jump properly. Now I'm going to show you the counts for a toe touch. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So you clap, raise, and down, kick, clean. The same counts apply for a hurdler or a pike, except on two, you turn to the side. And yeah, just make sure you're being very clean every time you finish your jump and just give it to the best of your ability and just push yourself. Now, if you're wanting to be a flyer, these are the names of some of the body positions. We have a lib, we have a heel stretch, a scale, and a scorpion and then next will be an arabesque but don't think that these came easy to me I worked very hard and stretched a lot so make sure you're stretching a lot now if your tryout has tumbling these are some of the names of the tumbling skills that you will need to know so I cannot obviously teach you how to tumble I went to tumbling lessons and it was the most helpful thing ever so obviously this video can't just be teaching you how to tumble but you just need to make sure you know the names at least and um, it depends on your school not every school has tumbling but in college it definitely is required. So just make sure you know the names and you try and take tumbling lessons if you can. Now I'm going to be showing you the basic things of cheering that you might need to do in your tryout practice. So make sure that you're being very bubbly and loud and sharp and just you can do kicks, you can throw in jumps as you'll see later and that you're just being very sharp and smiley and just see how I'm just constantly being bubbly and happy and here that's called a prance so just make sure that you're being a peppy cheerleader the whole time alright guys so I hope that you found this video super helpful and I hope that you go out there and you rock it and you are super 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 confident out there make sure you are being a hundred percent confident like give it your all give it your best I cannot wait to hear the feedback from tryouts and how it went for you guys and if this video helped you. So once again, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That is Ginny and Mopola. That's down below or right here for you guys if you want to see that. Let's be friends. Seriously, let's stalk each other. I hope you guys found this video helpful and good luck at tryouts. Rock it and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.